Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Aho Girl. This was one more popular anime series, so I decided to watch it. In this anime, the main character Yoshiko is very dumb. She gets bad grades and doesn't think logically. She also has a weird obsession with bananas. The person that has to put up with her behavior is her childhood friend Akuru, also known as Akun. He has to spend every day dealing with her dumb antics. The type of comedy this anime is going for is very obvious. It's basically humor about characters acting dumb. That's the one thing it's going for. You watch Yoshiko outdo herself in every episode, as she does dumber things. As viewers, we're supposed to find it funny. This type of comedy is common. You see in TV shows and even on YouTube channels. Have you ever watched the Smosh YouTube channel? If you have, and you found Ian and Anthony to be funny in their old videos, then you'll probably like the humor in this anime series as well. The anime right away remind me of Smosh, as we see Yoshiko play hide and seek, not knowing the game is already over, and she's hiding for no reason. You see that exact kind of scene in Smosh. This kind of humor got me to laugh at times, but at some point, it becomes repetitive. I still found it funny overall. The anime does try a different kind of humor though, which is a cliche tsundere character, but with a guy instead. Now the guy is the one being tsundere and hitting the girl. I've been consistent on my stance on the tsundere topic. I don't care if it's a girl or a guy. I don't find it funny seeing Sundere punch another character over and over. It's a cliche joke that people should stop putting in the writing. It's just not funny to watch. Seeing Yoshiko act weird with a banana was funny at times, but once you use the same joke over and over, it gets old. There obviously wasn't any character development, romantic development, or plot development in this anime series. It's all about Yoshiko acting dumb, which will probably get old quickly for most people. That's evident by the score on my anime list which is only 6.83. We also get to see Akuro hang out with Yoshiko at the beach and at the movies. It was entertaining seeing him be embarrassed by her at times. I was alright with the characters. Yoshiko's character is just to act dumb over and over. There's not really much to her character. It would've been funny to see her make weird remarks once in a while when you least expect it. And instead she just acts how she normally acts, which is stupid. I would say Akuro is even worse as a character. He is as big of a tsundere as Luis from Familiar of Zero. I feel like his character would have been much better if he was just making many witty remarks, but instead he just keeps hitting Yoshiko over and over and he gets old really fast. The opening song and ending song for his anime series were average. I don't care for the music throughout the anime. The animation style and animation is nothing special. I still recommend to watch the anime series for a few laughs, but it isn't anything great. It's an average comedy anime at best. I give this anime series a 5 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.